everybody, how are you? Today, we're gonna make a specific character and this is a suggestion or what it was. Yes, a suggestion from a subscriber. The thing is, I remember because I saved the pictures, you know, but I don't remember the name of the characters. If you can please know who this character is, please let me know. I'm gonna share the picture that I took from Google and I made this. Look, even if we don't know what is this character, <laughs> we're gonna learn techniques in this tutorial. So that's the cool part. Like for example, the crown, another technique for to make this supposedly to be wand, like princess wand. And then also another technique is this type of dress or, you know, for the dress. I'm gonna show you the back, it's like this. Okay, so now let's start to make this design. So don't forget, if you know the name of this character, please send me in the, the um, comments, please. Comments, because um, I'm planning to make also the main. It's, it's a boy and a girl, so this is the girl for this tutorial. The next one is gonna be the boy. Okay, so let's start it. Because a specific characters, now you know, you need lots of balloons because they have different colors for the dress, the hair, the crown, the, the skin color. So that's kind of the wings. So that what happen when you want to make a specific character it takes more balloons. But some of them you're not gonna use at all. That's a cool part. Now let's start first with the head. So for the head, I use a five inch round. Now remember, this is a five inch round for that size of balloons. But if you want to make it bigger, you just have to all the balloons we, I'm saying I'm using here. You just have to find bigger balloons. If this is a five inch round for this one, you can use for a bigger balloon sculptor, uh, 11 inch round or nine inch round. So you have the idea, instead of a 260, we're gonna use 350 if you want to make this bigger. But I think this size is perfect for a candy cap, also for give it to the birthday girl, something special. Because the thing is for length twist, I don't think it's gonna work. But the good thing is if you go to a party and with this theme of parties, you can make this type of ones, you know, bigger and the kids will love it to have those ones from this girl. You just have to make that little face. Awesome. Now I'm gonna start. Oh, but I wanna say thank you to all of you that are collaborating with this channel, sending uh, money by PayPal. Thank you so much. You know who you are. There is your name. Thank you. I think it's John Crow. Thank you so much. And thank you also, Chriselle Sanchez. I hope I remember the names because I don't have it here a paper, usually have a paper, but today I'm kind of crazy. Uh, I kind of, a little bit of stress because I have an event on Saturday and because I'm stuck with the snow, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get out. So today we're gonna try to go to town to pick up, you know, my mailbox. Uh, but I hope so because tomorrow is the event. We better have all things ready. And that's kind of like the thing. But, okay, so I have this five inch round. If you have it as a quick link, this pink is a bubblegum pink, great. If you don't have it, it's okay. You can make the racing bean or just fine in the dollar store, these beads, plastic beads. It's up to you. I noticed that with the racing beans I've been using for so many years that it's easier, but I'm already bought the dollar stuff, you know, the, the beads from the dollar store, so I'm just using it too. You can inflate your balloon, let's see. It's good to flip it all the way, especially because this is something that when you see a character, you have to, and you want to make it out of balloons, you have to choose what characteristic you want to make with the balloon. Not all is going to be possible, but you can try to do, you know, as many as you can, it's going to look more than the character. So in this case, I know that this girl has the head like big and boom and point like this, like the balloon upside down. And that's why I decided instead to use a balloon like this, normal, you're gonna put it upside down. And you're gonna lose some air, but not much, because you want to keep this shape. And also this girl have a big head. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of air, but this is what we have to do. And then we're gonna tie it, just like this. So you have this, it's gonna be the head, big. The rest is gonna be a little bit smaller to make it look. And that this is the thing about the beat. It's moving and moving, it's hard to, you know, Catch to trap it, but you have to get used to. So I'm gonna use my hand like this. There is a racing bean or a little bead inside. You just grab it like this and twist it. 
you have it here with me right there i don't know if you can see but it's there now what you have to do is to grab a balloon scrap any balloon scrap you have uh i have this little piece of balloon scrap you grab it look how i grab it pull and then pass around and then tight look i use my chest so it's secure oops, oops. there you go you have this now what else you have to do you're going to um probably keep um yeah let's just start with the head i think that's gonna be a good idea now we're gonna grab this is golden road and if you notice the crown is yellow but if you don't have golden road you just use yellow and for the crown maybe you use gold like golden metallic gold but this is the thing is the, the color of that girl's hair golden road now what you're gonna do is you have to measure let me see it's because sometimes what i do is you just see that the that google you know design and i cannot just see how you know far is the hair from the head you know this and that's how i do it but i'm gonna measure so then you have already the idea so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna make first i remember i make a loop so i forgot to tell you how many fingers it's like seven finger tail okay and then you're gonna make a little loop like two finger loop and a pinch twist just as um, the basics for to make a hair you know for a princess a loop and a pinch twist then you're gonna measure approximately 12 finger bubble yeah 12 finger bubble is gonna be good enough another 12 finger bubble back and twist and now you have to do the same the other side 12 finger bubble and 12 finger bubble going back and all you attach it there that's it you you have this that's the hair very simple and easy because this is already gonna be a lot of time for this tutorial you gotta start attaching the head so remember we are gonna keep the head this way so the nozzle is gonna be up on top and you're just gonna pass this around one time so then you still have this piece you see this long uh, balloon from the round pin okay now you have this you're gonna grab now your uh, 260 yellow and the way i made this is a little bit you know kind of a complicate myself let's see if i can make it better but this is what i did i'm gonna start better making what i did yeah like a one finger bubble another one finger bubble pinch twist oh how much air seven eight finger tail you have a finger bubble a bubble pinch twist another one finger bubble another bubble pinch twist let's see then another bubble another bubble and then this one is going to be pinch twist so it's a uh, follow-up pattern bubble pinch twist bubble pinch twist bubble pinch twist and one more time bubble pinch twist that's all and then you have to connect this mm, let's see maybe one more time because it's getting too short there you can keep it like that it's okay or you can make one more just in case one more bubble and pinch twist so i'm gonna tell you how many i made in a moment i just connected all this together and you have something like this look it's like a star already right so bubble pinch twist bubble pinch twist bubble pinch twist bubble pinch twist so it's like one two three four five pinch twist so this is like a pentagon like a star and from there from this pinch twist look i make like a one or two finger bubble and then i made a big pinch twist when i say big it's big like three or two finger pinch twist why because the idea is this is gonna help to this to go like this look the pinch twist is gonna roll up it's gonna stay everything there locked and we have something like this so that's gonna be the first part then from there you can um kind of like if you want already kind of go up and attach it up so from there this is the thing it's kind of complicated i don't i don't want to be too complicated let's take it out just so you don't complicate this thing you can cut the balloon already use your scissors so from there you don't introduce it, the pinch twist i hope you are uh, not so complicated and then from here you're gonna cut it don't get rid of this 
just save it okay save this and this part you can tie it lock them or tie it but this is the idea remember the pink balloon now this one is gonna go through that loop i think it's gonna be better to so that loop and then it's gonna touch that pinch twist on top and you're gonna tie it all together there that's how i think it's gonna be better you get it so i am accommodating things so you can kind of like see what i did here the pinch twist is gonna kind of like stay in the center so you have to kind of place those and the pressure of the pink balloon is gonna be very important but to keep you know the crown so the thing is this is kind of the first thing i did and it's kind of like okay something on top but how to make this look better because this is already the pinch twist that's supposed to be kind of more in the center okay more like this so how to make this looking better i'm thinking what about if the rest of the 260 oops the rest of the 260 i'm gonna pass it i'm just switching. i'm gonna pass it in between the hair and that little crown you pass it in between and like this look i just grab this and just pass around and then you tie it here you see you don't have to use it properly all you kind of have to measure just go around and measure so things looks all crazy but we're gonna fix it in a moment you know it's just accommodate the bubbles now you get rid of this air and tie it i know it's a little bit complicated but trust me it's hard to show there on video but the thing is it's not hard it's just so look, it's all look all crazy. You have the loop of the golden rod in the back and the pinch twist in the front. And in between there is gonna be the crown. Now you have to find kind of your favorite spot, your favorite part. Kind of like the loop, you know, have to be in the front. The crown there. And you kind of have something like this. You see, so accommodating things, bubbles, but I think it looks like a crown on top of the head. Just play with that. Look how it looks in the back. Okay, now let's keep going because I just kind of trying to take my time. Don't go so fast, but it's hard sometimes, right? Oh, we have to be patient. <laughs> now, now it's we have the head already. This is the head. If you don't have time, you can say, look, take it. This is the head. You put it in a one and a bracelet the same color of the dress and you make a bracelet and that's it you can put it in the candy cup that would be cool right you just can make a bracelet with this balloon like six or seven petal flower put it on top and on top a candy cup and there you go you just do the sharpie time and that's it but we're gonna make the whole design so now we have the head ready we're gonna make the body and this is a cool thing because this type of body can be useful for many other dresses even for peppa pig because the idea to make a triangle dress this is how i came up with this time a finger tail fuchsia and i start kind of like measure first my plan was to make like what is this four finger bubble another four finger bubble another four finger bubble and roll it so this is the third bubble that is going to be rolling in between the two first bubbles you made okay from here you are going to now one, two, one, two, two. yeah then from here you're gonna make very soft and squishable one finger bubble pinch twist another one finger bubble pinch twist everything is gonna be easier this way then you're gonna go with a four finger bubble go down so it's looking like a rose or a tulip, don't you think? So you lock them there. So look at this. This is the middle of the dress. Now, what else we're gonna do here? Look, we're gonna kind of squish and roll up a little bit. So it's in this kind of size. I'm gonna make a very small one finger bubble. Very small, actually very squishy and small one finger bubble. And then we're gonna make something that measure from there all the way up. So that's gonna be, look, approximately five finger bubble. You see? And pass it through the pinch twist. And we're gonna do and do the same the other side. It's cause a squishable five finger bubble. Okay, five finger bubble. 
And then one finger bubble, very soft and squishable. And that is gonna be close there. You can even grab the nozzle and tighten it just to make sure it doesn't get undone. But you can also cut this piece. So cut it, but don't get rid of this. So I'm gonna cut it. So you need your scissors or cutter here, my finger ring. So look, you still have some of this. So this is everything. I, for the shoes, I don't wanna use another, what is 260 fuchsia. So I'm just saving this. Soft and squishable there. Save that. Make sure you tie this part together. Doesn't get undone. The rest, and I'm gonna tie it. Make sure it's all locked there. And you have this type of body, this type of idea. Don't you think it's kind of like a triangle idea? I think it was gonna work. This part is gonna be for the shoes. So this is what I did. I kind of like the end, I make a bubble, very little. And then with the rest, I kind of twist it together as a loop, lock that loop. And then in the center here, you're gonna twist it in half and make a double pinch twist. So you just grab these two and squish it and make a double pinch twist. So you have very basic, easy shoes. One there, it's gonna loosen, but try to make it the same size if it's possible. This one is a little bit smaller, but it's okay. I don't know if I'm losing there there. Okay, so you have this. It's just two pinch twists and one little bubble in the back. Those are gonna be basic shoes. Now you're gonna grab your 160, this is a 160 bubblegum pink, the same color as the face, the head. Inflated like six finger tail. And you're gonna start making one little bubble and one finger loop. She has very small hands, but long arms. So you lock that little loop, those are the hands, and you're gonna measure approximately, she has kind of long arms. So you can measure approximately like five finger or six finger long but soft and squishable, you will see why. Because it's look already, wow, it's too long, but no, I think it's gonna be better this time. You attach it to that, soft and squishable, you will see why. You attach it to this pinch twist, and you're gonna measure again another six, soft and squishable, finger bubble, and then a one finger loop, a one finger pinch twist, and you cut your balloon, but don't get rid of the air, just cut it, Save it, that's me tied it there, because you will need this also for the legs. Now from here you pull tight, make sure it's all locked there. Now you have this. You can leave it there for a moment. We're gonna go and this balloon is gonna attach to one, the shoes, the rest of the 160 bubble gum. Attach it there and you're gonna measure how long you want the legs. It's approximately like four finger long or five. Okay, and look, I twisted, yes, I twisted, but also I'm gonna pass the end through these two front bubbles in the back, like here. And it's gonna go all the way through this part. So she's gonna be doing like a split. And the thing is, if you're in a hurry, you can make a very basic body, of course. But look, I'm passing in between these two front. And when I see, for example, the legs right there, I leave it there, okay, done. And then the rest I kind of squish and accommodate it the other side. So she has the legs separated, but because of saving balloon, the shoes are together. So you have something like that. You just kind of measure the same size and play with that, okay? And you just have to kind of play with this, trying to give it more air. So then that doesn't look like one leg is loose. One leg is thicker than the other one. And then you cut that. You cut it, you don't need any more this pink. Save it in the balloon scrap, tie things. So it's all locked. Doesn't get untwist or deflated. Especially if you give it to a kid and the kid is gonna feel so sorry if they start losing their. So look, look how it goes. Look, this is another idea, very cute for a ladybug balloon or a designer, an insect, but it's a cute one, you know? Well, now, this part, you can start, look, open it now, this part, and it's squishing down. 
So you can cut something like this. And the same the other side. Okay, if you just accommodate it. And because it's squishable, the pressure is gonna help to keep things there. Look how cute it's looking, but also it's still kind of like the idea of the dress. You see? So you have to squish and play with that. Or you can just leave it up, it's up to you, but I kind of like this way. So you have something like this, okay? Now, this is the thing, this is the front. For me, I like this one better, but you can use the back and just kind of like change these things. It's up to you which side you wanna use better, okay? This can be like this, and if you prefer that one, good, that's great. So I'm gonna make it now this time that way so you can see because this one I make it the, the other side so this one I'm gonna make it this way so you can see the difference if you like it now now we're gonna start attaching the head yes let's attach the head just pass it around lock them down and we just need one more balloon and that's it so which balloon is the one we're gonna use oh, let me just play with this so it's all connected, play with the angle that you prefer. There, oh, actually I'm gonna use that one, right? So, play with the pinch twist. Look, it's not looking good. Okay, so you have this. What can we do now? You will need a 260 clear, and this is how I made the wings. So for the wings, I inflate the balloon. It doesn't really matter much, six finger tail. You're gonna make like no more than five or four finger bubble, okay? Another four or five finger bubble. And you're going to make a loop around, you see? And then you're gonna squish and twist. So you have this. Those are gonna be wings, and I, I like it because that loop is not empty, it have a bubble there. And you're gonna do this one more time, four or five finger bubble, another four or five finger bubble, twist it together, and then just make a loop around, squeeze soft, and now you have the two wings, and it's better, now from here you make a, like, two finger bubble, pinch twist. This bubble, that's we just made, Pinch twist. Okay, now you have this. You can start loosening the air so you can. Whoa, I did it without making it, but you just need that long tip. That's good because this is what you're gonna do. So remember, we want this now to be the front, that's meaning the back is gonna be this part. You just have to pull. So you decide which part you want it to be the, the back, but you have to kind of like grab it in between the two bubbles. The pinch twist goes in this side of the clear. So then you just pull, you just pull and attach it whenever you want the angle to be. Just pull. And then when you pull as much as you can, then the rest you're gonna pass into the speech twist and hide a clear balloon. Yes, just hide in there. And I think it looks cute, good looks great. You now have to tell me in the comments because I love to see your comments if you like it. Look, this is the design pretty much. Sharpie time or should we make the, the, the wand first? Let's make the wand. For the wand, just use a balloon scrap 260. You have to make like, look, like three or four finger bubble, another three or four finger bubble and twist it together. Okay, twist it together, lock them, and then you make a double pinch twist. Double pinch twist. Okay, now you cut the rest. I'm cutting it here and just make sure it's all tight and locked. Secure, just in case. Twist. One more time. So you have this. Now you're gonna grab a 160. I decided to make it with purple. And you're gonna make like two finger bubble, one finger bubble, another two finger bubble. I think it's like two finger bubble. And twist it together. Double pinch twist, and then from there, it's gonna start growing this, you will see. We make the same idea as we make as the crown. One finger bubble, 
one finger bubble pinch twist another one one finger bubble and then one finger bubble and that one is gonna be pinch twist and then you have to keep going until you have enough balloon to get all around the 260 white so you have something like this and you want to do this one more time one more and i'm going to show you then how it's looking um as much as you can that will be good in my case i made one two three four five six it's like a, like an hexagon idea so you before you close it you put it right here and then you twist it now and it's gonna be all locked okay all locked with the two pinch twist that we made at the beginning mm -hmm. okay and you have this this is kind of a basic idea for a for a, a wand hmm? now from here you kind of like put the bubble i think it's better this way now you're gonna measure how long like four finger bubble you're gonna attach it to the hair to the hand i mean <laughs> attach it to the hand and then you're gonna measure like no more than three finger bubble with the so look how I keep, you know, the pinch twist in the back, the loop in the front. And then you measure like three finger bubble. And you cut. You don't need that rest stick anymore. Save it in balloon scraps. And you tie this part. Cut the excess. Yeah, you don't need that too. So you cut it. And this is what you have. You can always accommodate things the better way you want. But this is the idea. What else this character has? Sharpie time, the face. Very interesting face but the good thing is easy it's easy at least for me it was easy how with this you will see the original design in the corner all the time i'm gonna now be this way so you can see how i do it um i kind of like cut the eyes big like this and i close it just because i think it's gonna look better but and so even bigger and then in the center trying to find like circles Okay, and then with white sharpie, you can start coloring in between the two circles, right? Like, peel like this way. And that way, if you start with this part, the white is going to start getting drier as soon as you're done with all the sharpie. So, well, it's kind of messy, but this is the idea. Eyebrows, I decide to use purple. Even for this big circle, you can use purple, but it's okay. Then I'm gonna make like four lines, very easy. One, two, three, four. And then the other one, two, four. One, two, three, four. Especially if I'm in a hurry in a birthday and people are like, I want it, I want it. Then from here, I just, I, I you can keep going with a purple like this and I make a line like this, look. A line like that. And then I line a little bit with this angle. Look at that angle. It's like okay. Then the smiley face. And now it's time to do the same for the little ones. So it's the same idea. We have a mouth, kind of the same thing, and it's gonna have that face with these interesting eyes. And a circle inside, and then eyelashes. So, four eyelashes one, two, three, four. But this one have even in the bottom one, two, three, four. And that's what I'm doing. I hope you like this tutorial. It's not like my favorite. Every time I have to make something that is a specific character, it's something that I kind of like don't like much. But I made it because I, I'd say that I will, I will try to do it. And the thing is, you will learn what techniques, right? That's the cool thing. Thank you so much. And don't forget, if you want to make this channel much better, what to do, check out on the description, description of all my videos. You will see I have my address. I have an Amazon wish list, which I love that because if I think I need something, you know, to make this channel better or as a balloon twister, you know, it's gonna be helpful, a very awesome tool. 
I put it there on that Amazon wish list and you can visit it. You can see and if you want to collaborate, you can just buy it and it's already my address there. Plus, I have my address there in the description of all my videos in case you want to send packages of balloons or Sharpies or anything you think a balloon twister would like to have or something to decorate the balloon room. You see that show? I'm going to take all the balloons and today if I get out of my house, I'm going to give it to people in town that I'm sure they're going to be very happy. Okay, one more thing. If you want to contact me, I always read all my comments. So comment in the videos. Tell me what you think about the videos, about the tutorials. And if you want to see more of my pictures, the designs, the balloons I ever made, you will find my Instagram. It's Alpaca Global Balloons. Follow me because I always posting all the things that I'm making. Even if I'm not making into a tutorial, I always share pictures there of the things I have to do, you know, or I'm making for events or stuff, you know, that I do for kids or deliveries or, you know, you know. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Have a wonderful day.